There's a lot of big plans happening here, you guys. You guys are gonna see some crazy stuff. These girls are dirty today, you guys. You guys are gonna see, they're gonna wanna take back. Welcome back to Felix Exotic Animal Ranch. Today, we are gonna have some special treats for you guys, for the people that are very interested into the Gucci gang. What we are going to do right now is we are gonna go show you guys what we've been working on all day here on the ranch before we show you guys the Gucci gang. The Gucci gang have been locked up inside their pen all day long and they are very dirty. The reason why they're locked up in there is because I'm gonna show you guys what we've been working on right now. So if you guys remember, we had fencing all here, just like how it is over there. And we took all that down and we've been redoing everything. And we already got up a bunch of new fencing up right over here, you guys can see. We're putting six foot fencing all around the ranch and this is just the start. Look at all this work we've been doing. We've been working all day long, me and my buddies, and we've been getting all this set up. This whole section over here, you guys, is actually gonna be a whole new area. That's, I'm gonna call this section Brazil. That's all you guys are getting in this part of the video. We're going back to the Gucci gang and I'm gonna show you guys bath time for the Gucci gang. So I've been setting up they're cool right now and I'm about to release them in just a sec. But actually you guys, you guys remember we're already 12K up from 100,000 subscribers and I said at 100,000 subscribers, I was gonna get bear across my chest. And I got bear across my chest, you guys. Blake Exotic Animal Ranch for a long time, well forever because it's a tattoo. That's not coming off. Part of my life now, Blake Exotic Animal Ranch. Let's go get these Gucci gang out. These girls are dirty today, you guys. You guys are gonna see, they're gonna wanna take it back. It's hot here, you guys, and it's evening and it's still hot. It's supposed to be winter here in South Florida. Look at this, you guys. Got the here on my shoulder, watching over. The Gucci gang take a bath and the call ducks and everybody take a bath. Right, girl? Good girl. Just bring her on my shoulder and hangs out. Look at them. They're loving their little bath time right now. The call ducks for first because they're little stubborn ones. And then the Gucci gang goes in because they're young. The call ducks are a lot older. But they're all going to take a bath in just a sec. In the comments, I'm going to need your guys' help. This is the first time I've had a group of ducks this large on the ranch. I've always had only a few ducks and this is the biggest group. Now that I'm locking up inside an area, they get very dirty very fast. What are the ideas that you guys can give me that you guys know that have ducks to raise it up so it's not so muddy and not so dirty all the time? So if you guys have any suggestions, put in the comments and I'm gonna read over them and the one that I think is the best, I'm gonna pick the one that I think is the best and do that idea and make it better because it gets very dirty in there and I just don't like it. I know the ducks are fine, but I don't like them to be in sitting in muddy water for the day if they have to get locked up, so let me know. There you go, you guys. See, cold ducks are done. And now the Gucci gang, it's their turn to take a bath and they're all gonna go in, exactly what I said. They have their little ranks, their little first and seconds. Cause the Gucci gang is so young. And then they all go inside. See, they're all taking a bath. <laughs> Told you. And look, do you guys see that right there? They're starting to be at age to start breeding. And that's what they do right there, to start breeding inside the water. See, that male's grabbing that female right there. Yeah. What's going on? Oh. Gati. Gati. Hey, girl. Alright, you guys, as you see. The Gucci gang's already taking it back right here. They're all hanging out because the call ducks are gone. Got these over there behind Dylan being all in the camera because she wants to always have a hug. But um, I've been looking over them very, very closely and I think <laughs> got these pretty really Hold on. Right they're doing great. Everyone's doing awesome. And they're loving the pool party right now that they're having. Look at them. Look how big they got. You guys remember when you guys were the beginning when we got the Gucci gang when they were little chicks and now they're probably what? Five months old? Almost five months old now. 
and they're doing great. <laughs> Look at them all. Oh yeah, the Gucci gang started from nothing. Look at Gabi, just literally just hanging out. <laughs> so while the Gucci gang are here just hanging out, taking a bath right now, I'm gonna go show you guys the rest of the ideas and examples and plans that I have for the Brazil area. We're gonna go over there right now and I'm gonna show you guys what I have in store for you guys. The yellow foot pins, the yellow foot enclosure is right here. They are getting moved to the other side of the chicken coop. The reason why I'm doing that is because I think it's too dry for them here and the two people that I know that produce yellow foots have them in straight, practically water. So it floods a lot down there like you guys know. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm making a door right here and we're gonna have a pathway to walk with my four x four wheelbarrow right here. And we can come over here, I can open this up, feed all my turtles and tortoises in here and without getting bothered by the cows and the goats of that sort. So we walk, walk, walk. All the way, this is going to be post right here. You guys see all the, the holes right here. Come all over here, and I'm going to come to right here. And I'm going to have road rail ties like I have for the Sokotas. And we're going to have them right here. Going all the way across to about, eh, like right around here. From here to there. So this whole section right here is going to be for the yellowfoot tortoises. It floods all the way to over here, so it's going to be perfect for them. I'll have a water section here when it doesn't flood, but when it does flood, they're going to have a lot of water. I'm gonna raise it up just a little bit over there. So that area over there is gonna be around 30 by 10 feet of straight sand and dirt so they can lay and it'll be dry out of the water and then they'll have the whole water section. So then after that, what we're gonna do is from here on, that way is gonna be whole new turtle section. It's gonna be all, it's fen it was fenced in before, but it's gonna be even better fenced in and I'm gonna get planks and bring it about to right here. So when it's baby season, when they lay eggs, no babies can go through the fencing at all just at the water level where the water level is always at. So what you guys know, birds to go over here, it is very dirty, but who cares, we've been working a lot. That whole metal thing and everything I have there for the Hillary side neck turtles, the Argentinian side neck turtles, remember I told you guys that's just temporary. These are the big moves that are happening right here. All that metal is gonna get taken out in the upcoming video. Like I said, always put those post notifications on because we're always having different things happening here on the ranch. We're gonna take all that metal off. We're gonna take all the turtles out, collect all the turtles, look them all over, make sure everybody's great. Make sure I know exactly how many turtles I have in there also. So when we take everything out, we're gonna get a excavator or a backhoe, whatever that's called. Dig that whole pond out one more time, dig it all out, clean it all up, make it very nice again. And then on top of that, I'm gonna make a small little barrier right here, just high enough so turtles can't cross over, right? And then right here in this section, I'm gonna put a whole nother pond for a whole nother different species of turtles in South America. So I have two different types of water turtles and two different ponds so they won't bother each other. That's gonna be very awesome. So there's gonna be probably four or five different species of turtle and tortoises here that can live in the water and you guys are gonna say some crazy stuff. And then also, in the comments, if you guys know what's the largest species of rodent in the world, well that's what I'm getting. I'm not gonna say the name, you guys know what it is. A lot of you guys are very smart on the ranch fam, the page, the channel, and my mom's calling me. I'm just finishing, I'm doing the finishing a video. All right. All right, bye. You're on camera right now, so just, all right, bye. My goodness. All right, back to it. So, yeah, there's a lot of big plans happening here, you guys. And if you guys remember, so look, this is the six foot fencing. Like, look how high it is. Six foot fencing, and that's how it used to look, right over there. Remember, it's four foot fencing? So all that is coming off soon because we just did this whole section. We're gonna get that whole section done over there. It takes process, you guys. I'm not doing it by myself. We're doing it with a lot of friends and everything. We're doing it all together, family and friends, getting it all done, working together, and making it happen. All these are drying overnight, and then we had to redo all the mesh. Like you guys see, we had the mesh over there. It's a big process, it's a big thing. It's the ranch life, it's a farm life. We do this stuff all the time. Well, not all the time, but this is time that we're making new enclosures and doing better things. We wanna make this zoo quality the best and make it look awesome. So little by little, while I work and stuff like that, we could get things done. But um, that's the plan, you guys. We have a lot of things happening here on the ranch, and this is just one section of the property because we still have the barn to come and yeah, I'm still, that's that's still in the works. Like that's gonna happen soon. And once that happens, project after project after project, stuff doesn't ever end here. Let's go get the Gucci gang, you guys. And we are going to go corral them back into their enclosure because it is getting dusk here and they've been out for about an hour or two. So that is enough things that I'm gonna show you guys here what's happening here, all the plans. I will show you guys the rest of the ideas and setups in the next video.
But now we are gonna go to the Gucci gang and put everybody away. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna corral all the ducks into their enclosure and then feed them inside so they're locked up for the night. So I'm gonna show you guys the process of getting them in. They're pretty, they're not that bad anymore. They used to be worse, but they learned to go, they learned to go inside their cage and it helps a lot. Come on, come on everybody. In, in, in. Come on. You got happen. I'm gonna get some food and they're gonna go right in. So now, they'll go right inside their enclosure. See? One, two, they're all gonna go in. Everybody's gonna go right in, you guys. Oh, they missed the entry. They're gonna turn around and they're going inside. There they go. All right, they did it. <laughs> Today they're not acting too good. But normally, they do real good. And like I said, you, like you guys saw, it's a little muddy in there. And the backside is dry, but the front side is a little wet. And I don't like that. I want to see in the comments if you guys can figure out what I can do. I think I'm going to just stand, raise it up, add dirt, and add rock. But if there's any other better ideas, let me know in the comments, you guys. This is going to be the end of the video. Gucci gang are locked up inside their enclosure for the night. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the upcoming videos because there are going to be some crazy things that you guys do not want to miss. Make sure you guys stay tuned.